I believe there is a lot of people out there that like Rababa sound and they like uh, tradition thing like African uh, cultures. Uh, they are very interested in African cultures. Uh, so, especially my very conservative in African culture, I love it. I love to keep the culture life in America. So, then I still uh, have a Rababa. Rababa is one of the African instrument and it's uh, cordless, like you can play with the plugged in and electric, but it's still, you can make it another plant to hook it up, but mostly I like to play natural, so it got a good sound. So Rababa, um, the way the tunes, it doesn't really have a rule, but I would be happy just to show people how to tune it up. The first string from the right hand side was you start from the right hand side to the left. So the first string called number one, number two, three, and four and five. The Rababa got a five string. Okay, number one, the sound is like this. There is so many different ways you can you can you can you can tune it up. But the way I want to cheat the word, that's that's the way I'm playing it. So but I believe there is some other tribe that tune it in a different ways. Okay, so Number one string, the sound is like this. So number two, we are going to number two. So number three. Number four, number five, the last string. Okay, after you tune it, you go like this. Good, I'm ready to play. So, to start to play, Rubaba, I'll play this way. I like this way better than playing. I used to play this way, but I'm trying to find a different technique. When I play this way, when I play a long time, I, I, my arm get tired. So, so then I try to find a different technique so I can play not not hurt me. So, the way I'm playing right now, I'm learning it. I'm not perfect in it, but I'm still, I want to learn this way, it's better. I can play a long time and never get tired. So, I'm going to just try to, we're going to have fun a little bit, playing a song and have fun together.
Sagita Silwa, Silwa, Silwa. Silwa, silwa, silwa. 